Hello, good afternoon. I am Dr. Harold B. Pamilina, Senior High School Coordinator and a Master Teacher of Tanisa National Trade School. Today, I would like to share to you the findings of my study by Action Research entitled Good to Great, Expanding Group Research Work of Senior High School through the six thinking head intervention. Let me start with the rationale of my studies. One of the many challenging works, objects, and projects in the senior high school is writing a research paper. As an applied subject, practical research aims to develop the critical and problem-solving skills among senior high school students. Hence, they must take and pass practical research one and two. From the first batch of our senior high school to present, students are required to present and complete a research paper as an output in practical research one and practical research two. Well, writing a research paper is not easy. In fact, it is uncommon to hear from the student that writing a research paper is hard. The means in my presentation, though it may be funny, but it represents the feelings of the student when they are writing their research project. Well, all the students struggled in writing a research paper, but that struggle of writing research paper always outweighs the benefits that they have gained from the journey of writing the every chapter and section of it. Well, it is even supported in a study, in a tracer study conducted from the first batch of our senior high school graduates by Teope Pangilinan and Oxera in 2019. The findings remark a positive feedback of uh, students towards K-12, particularly on experiential learning activities such as thesis making in practical research subjects, work immersion, OJT experiences, and the project making in their chosen course and specialization. Well, practical research is a subject designed as such for a student to apply the concepts and techniques of research in their chosen strat and strand. The student's knowledge of writing research also manifests their 21st century skill. It challenges the student to organize their thoughts, craft narratives, or make arguments based on the findings of the research and actually giving you the benefits of the subject practical research. Well, obviously, practical research as a subject improves the educational experiences of senior high school students. As for this work, well, result, the practical research teachers, like me, must continually address the students' struggles and difficulties of writing a research paper. Now, the research questions that are explored or that were explored in the study are the following. Number one, what is the academic performance of the senior high school student in practical research as determined in the positive and quickest result? Number two, is there a significant difference between the student pretest and post-test result after the six thinking hat intervention was offered? Number three, how is six thinking hat intervention lessens the problems before and during the group research work? Number four, how the six thinking hat intervention helps the senior high school student in working the group research. And now let me discuss to you what is six thinking hat intervention that I use in my study. Every meeting in our research class, I inject and impart how the six thinking hat intervention will be used 
by the student. Actually, animating a creative thinking of students while they are working in a group. Metaphorically, the six hats, the red, yellow, green, blue, white, and black correspond to different thinking styles of the student. They are physical symbols that trigger the specific roles that enable students thinking to break out the normal patterns. So the six thinking hat intervention was used in this investigation aiming that it will elevate the work collaboration even in the most challenging task of completing the research work in the practical research. This study utilized an embedded research design, a mixed methodology, were aimed to collect quantitative and qualitatively simultaneously or sequentially. But according to Presswell, one form will play a supportive role to the other. In this study, the quantitative data were collected first through the results of the pre-test and post-test, while the secondary or the supportive data were obtained from the participants in the interview using a structured interview question. The quantitative result of my study. From the table 1, 104 participants took the pre-test exam and obtained the mean rating of 15.91. Well, the students participated in this research are my students. They are selected using non-probability sampling. All my students in practical research ones, both in CBL and academic tracks are included. Going back to the tables, the obtained mean rating of 15.91 compared to the number of research items, which is 50, it falls short for being excellent. The standard deviation of 6.26 implies that prior to the formal instruction and discussion, the practical research students display heterogeneity in the level of knowledge or performance in practical. Well, the mean rating in the same table of 43.55, this is now the fastest result, the 43.55 out of 50 item fastest indicates an outstanding or excellent performance of students in practical research as revealed by the post test. The standard deviation is 3.44, smaller than the 6.26. It further suggests that the students are almost alike in terms of their exceptional academic performance in practical research. Well, that is after the six thinking hat intervention was offered. Let me now continue on the table two. The result of the paired t test. The t value, as you can see, was 37.060, which is statistically significant at the level of the significance indicated in the table. This means that there were statistically differences between the mean score of the student in the pre test and their score in the post test. As further shown in the table, the mean score of students in pretest is 15.91 and the standard deviation is 6.26, while the mean score of students in post-test is 43.55 and the standard deviation is 3.44, which means that the difference was in favor of the post-test score obtained by the student. This indicates that there is a significant difference in the academic performance of students in practical research subjects after the six thinking hat intervention was offered and integrated in the Well, to give more description, more rich description, and further understand how the six thinking hat intervention helped the senior high school student in working with group research, and how the six thinking hat lessens the student problem before and during the research writing, I selected some students and interviewed them 
the first question asked was what they enjoy most in working with group research. According to the responses, the group or team research give them the opportunity to learn from each other. One participant explained that every contribution of each member is important, even if one is assigned to do boring jobs like typing or distributing the survey form. We motivate one another that every process of research writing is important and every contribution matters. The six thinking hat intervention is helpful for a student as revealed by quantitative and qualitative findings. For example, it helps the student to organize their thoughts, their ideas, and see what they are thinking before writing. And students revise drafts with less teacher intervention. Cooperation and oral discussion encourage students to be more involved and work seriously to complete the research writing project. And in general, the six thinking has intervention and answers the collaborative work between students. Thank you for listening. God bless everyone.